Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is coming up six o'clock on this lovely 
fine Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday? Is it Tuesday today? Yes, it is. Tuesday afternoon. Um, before we get started, as you can see, everything is ready and set up. I will apologize if I have to break away early or disappear halfway through the stream. I will apologize now. I will resume it at a later date or I'll restart it at a later date. But for now, I'm going to try and do what I can while I can. So, this is the last mission. This is the What You Leave Behind, the finale. So, I've done all my parts. I hear water running somewhere. Uh, I've done all my parts. I've got my ship ready to go. I've placed my ship ready to go as well. Um, I've got my cards here. And what I'm going to do now is going to show you, because you probably sat thinking, well, hang on, he's got an awful lot of cards there. So I'm allowed to add two spaces, yeah? So obviously three and six. So what I've been doing is, obviously, I've got one space there. I've got one weapon slot, so I've got a second weapon. And then obviously one there. And then three of those, because obviously I've got three slots there. But what I've been doing is, for the final mission, because it gets a little bit heavy, I give myself one extra slot to play with, in which case I've spent my 5 XP from the last two missions to put full spread on my ship. It's basically like, because obviously you got three, six, so technically you should get one at nine. So I've just given myself one extra slot to play with, because I'm going to need it as well for this mission. But basically, we'll have a quick walkthrough now of what we've got to do. So the idea is save Cardassia Prime and destroy the Dominion. So destroy the Dominion battleship and destroy all weapon platforms before all mission tokens are removed from the planet. Uh, the battleship is not going to go for the planet. The battleship is going to come for me. Uh, so retreat options. Players may not retreat. So there's no leaving the board until you're done. So at the end of the round, when there are no weapon platforms or Dominion battleships in play, even if there are Dominion formations that have not yet deployed, there is no time limit and no XP reward for this mission. So basically I've got to destroy the battleship and the two platforms to finish the mission. So, uh, escort ships. I've, I've got to give myself my escort ship in a second. It gives me my extra action per turn, which is lovely. Uh, each player begins the mission with an escort ship uh, assigned to protect them and provide support. So obviously still, we, we know the rules of the escort ship. Uh, Penumbra, mission outcome. If you succeeded at Penumbra, they all begin with one hull damage. Well, we know that I did. So all three Gemidar ships that are already on the board have one hull damage. Then there's the Cardassian population, so use mission tokens to represent Cardassian structures and personnel. At the setup, place a number of tokens on the planet based on the following. So, use three mission tokens per player. So there's, there is three on there for me. If you completed supply run, you get an extra two. So there's actually five on the planet. And then through Dogs of War, depending on how you did in Dogs of War with your round mm -hmm. will depend on whether you keep all your tokens or whether you have tokens taken away. I finished at round 7 as we know so there was no change. I've still keep in all 5 of my mission tokens. So Cardassian Bombardment at the start of each round roll attack dice equal to the number of weapon platforms in play Plus one. So because there's two weapons to start with, I roll three dice. Uh, each hit or crit result removes one mission token from the planet. If all mission tokens are removed, the mission is a failure. Uh, treat these tokens as ships. So they've got a hull of eight, which I've actually dropped the hull down to six for each because I'm on my own. Um... So I get three dice to roll against the planet. But when I get within range, 
they take a shot at me as well, I believe. So every hit that comes up as a crit will become two hits. And then at the end of the combat phase, they will attack me at range three. As if it's got a 360 degree arc. And then you convert any battle stations automatically to hits. So that's how this one's going to work out, guys. That's basically the idea of what we've got to do. So what I'm going to do now is quickly show you. He's got six. He's got six as well. Uh, I'm starting here. I do need to go into this box quickly because I almost, almost finished setting up before I had a, an unfortunate disturbance at my front door. I won't go into it too much. But basically I need to go into this box because I need to get out. I need to get out my John's dice. And I need to get out Miranda Escort as well. So let's make that nice and big. Nice and big. There we go. Click on there. Player is ready. Let's put that to one side. And then we're going to put that. It's going to match my angle and just go on the back like so. So my first manoeuvre has to be a long shot. So I'm going to have to take a red manoeuvre, which is going to drop my actions down to one. But that's perfectly fine for this turn. Or better still, actually, I won't. I'll do a five, which will work out just as good anyway. So round two, I've got a breen. Round four, I've got a bug. Round six, I've got another breen to come in. Uh, battleship is up there. Uh, bug B is there, but uh, Bug A is there, so here we go. Bug A has got me on his front arc, so he's just going to jump to there. Bug B has got me on his front arc, so he's going to jump to there. And the battleship also has me on his front arc, so he's going to jump to there. Those two, well, all three will take scans, because I'm not within range three, so that's fine. And we're going to jump to there. I'm going to go like that, just put that Miranda behind me. I just want to check my forward arc. I don't quite have the gap I need there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Commander as my action, but I'm only going to put the Battle Station there for now. I'm going to spend the Evade to do Evasive Pattern Delta. That uh, was not meant to turn my ship over, but did. And... That allows me to do an extra two manoeuvre on my dial, so done. I'm just going to do a two, two straight. Which now should put that thing at range three. That's the one. And then my other action will be a target lock. To which I will target lock the station, the, the weapon platform rather. Uh, I normally play it like the first turn, they will not take a shot at the planet. Because to be honest, that's not really fair. Because if they both hit the first turn with like six attack dice, and then all six dice wipe out those five, what chance have I got of finishing the mission? You know what I mean? So I don't ever shoot on the first turn with those for them. They'll shoot me at the end of the phase, though. Well, if he's still alive. So I've got range three, which gives me five dice. And I'm going to... No, I'm not, I'm not going to disable them, actually, because I'm going to play that cleverly. I'm going to roll my five dice at the weapon platform. Uh, big roll. Okay, so that's two hits. Oh, hang on, bear with me a second. Because you've got one of those there as well. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll this pair here. And then I'm going to convert the battle stations with the battle station on my ship for six hits to take out that first turret. And spend that one. My apologies, that was the dog in the background as he decided it's a great idea to try and eat his ball. Um, right, so I'll get the battle station back with battle hardened as well. And then I'm going to get my one dice out because he's got me at range two on his forward arc. And he's going to take a shot at me. Uh, he didn't have a battle station. He did have a scan. So that dice actually should not have been rolled. But that's fine. I'm not worried. Because he hasn't actually hit me anyway. So all good. Uh, he's not going to shoot at me this now because he's not within a range. And neither is the other one, so back to dials. Back to the dial, like so. And then I'm going to move his range two and closing, so he's blue now. So he's going to go to there. Uh, he'll get a battle station for his lovely efforts. Say that's probably a front side. Yep, that's definitely a front side arc on him. So there to the right, he's going to swing it around there. Um, just trying to think now. Has he got forward arc on me? He has not. So again, he will take a scan. I'll put the scan on so I don't forget it. Uh, battle station. Uh, battle station. The battleship has got me on that same front front arc there to the right. Again, same as well. So he takes a scan as well. And then it's going to spawn that one in quickly because I completely forgot to spawn him in. I'm going to put that there. And what I'm going to do is move that and then I'm going to take that top one uh, oh, and flip it and drop it down so uh, if the attacker is within range one to two it gains one auxiliary token lovely so I need to make sure I stay at range three of that one he looks like he's up there which he is uh, the battleship I know is um, if it's got a red, if I put a target lock on it, basically I got to roll a dice. And if the dice comes up as a hit or crit, then I have to remove the target lock from the battleship. Uh, I will move him now because he's got a move as well, because he's entitled to a movement. That's going to be my choice there, I believe. So I'm just going to go with the front side to the right. That's not where I wanted to move. It's the wrong one. Try again, front side to the right. Oh, that's a bump. So they ignore and nice big roll on that. Boop, that's a battle station, so that's fine. And then finally, I'm going to move my dial up into the middle of the field a bit. And then I just realized actually, uh, I'll do it now. I've got to roll two dice. One hit removes one token from there. Uh, then it's over to me. So let's move my dial a bit further out of the way because there's a mission token there just blocking it. So I've gone to there. Um, I believe I do have him in my forward arc, do I not? Yes, I do. Range two. So I'm going to bring the Miranda with me to there. I'm going to put the battle station there, and obviously, I'll take the evade this time as well, because I am going to need the evade this time. And then my target lock, I'm just going to drop it on him. 
and then I'm going to fire it in. Range two, so I got five dice. Uh, he has two dice as his defense. I've also got the battle station here, thanks to battle plan. It's a nice big roll there. And he's got nothing. I've got quite nice, so I'm going to spend my target lock to re-roll these two. Okay, that's a dud. I'll spend a battle station to ev to to evade, <laughs> to turn those two. So that's one, two, three, four hits and a crit. So that's five in total. Should be enough to take out B. One, two, three, four. And of course, just for the damage, for the extra damage, I should say, five. And he's gone. Uh, that's nice. That can come off for a minute. And what I'm going to do now is just reset my dial because nobody else can have a shot because he hasn't got me at range three. Uh, we're going to turn three now. Into turn three. And then I'm going to... Nothing spawns this turn, which is nice. Um... I don't know why I've still got these two mission tokens on top of this card here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right. So Bug A has got me at range one to his left hand side. So he's going to do that. He won't get that. He'll get an evade instead this turn now. Um. The Breen ship up there. It's got me on his front side to the left. So he's finally going to try and come back down, which is good for him. And the battleship has me directly astern. Oh dear. Allow me to just quickly roll this dice. There we go. It's a hit. So the battle station does. Sorry, the battleship does take a hit. All the more and merrier for me. Uh, still not got range, so... Actually, no, he doesn't get an action because he bumped, so that's fine. Over to me. Hopefully, that now will put that, that one there at range 3, which it has done. I've just realised I haven't rolled two dice again, so allow me to roll two dice this turn. Uh, ooh, two hits. So that is two more tokens gone. So I'm going to target lock for one. I'm going to commander for two. I'm going to put the escort alongside me. I'm just going to basically roll five dice at it again. That's going to be a battle station, which we know should end up as something good. So as long as I get six hits. Oh, oh, it's lovely. I don't even need to spend the target lock. I will spend the battle station to convert all four for a six hitter. And he's out of there. Next stop is going to be the battleship. Uh, I believe the bug has a shot on me. Yep, range two. So he gets three dice to play with. I get one. Nice big, uh, big roll there. Okay, so what did he have? Evade. So he hasn't got a battle stage. Just one hit there. I'll spend the one on my ship just to evade him. Uh, the other two can't shoot. So that's fine for the minute. And then we're going to round four. And that brings in a bug. 
bug, 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 bug. So what we do now is we'll give that bug two shields. We'll give that brain three. And I'll put three over here as well. Ready for the next green shipment comes in as well. Right, so tax ship A front arc to the left. It's going to do that. That looked like to me he's nipped the planet. He has, he is just on the planet. The smallest, smallest little nip is on that planet, so he won't get his action. And he will not be able to shoot at me either, so that's good. Uh, next up is the Elite Bug, which is now over here. So let me just check his range. He's got me on the front side arc as well. So it's going to be front side to the left. He gets a scan for his action. Uh, Breen up there has got me on his front arc. So he will front at range three, which puts him there. And then the battleship is going to be there to the right. So he's just going to go forward and not do much else. So he's got a scan. I believe the battleship will have a scan as well, because that doesn't look like range three to me. Oh, it is range three, so okay, so he takes that off. I'll take that off a minute, throw it over there, and give him an evade instead. And finally me. Oof. That went well. I'll still keep my two actions. So I am at range one. Let me just remember what his card does. So basically at range one to two, I gain an auxiliary. Obviously I still get my actions because I moved into the range. Uh, to perform an action, place one scan token beside this ship. So he's actually got a second scan. There you go. Uh, I still get my full complement of bits. But I'll also take an auxiliary power now for my troubles as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have me a laugh because I'm going to take that thing out of the game while I can. So I've got six dice. He's got two. I've got my one on the side as well, ready, which is a, a normal battle station. And I'm just going to give it a big roll. Let's see what we get. So he's got one of eight. He has got a target lock on me as well, as well as I've got my target lock on him. So he can re-roll one dice. Uh, no good. So he's going to cancel one hit. Uh, I'm going to convert that one and convert that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and a crit on the Breen ship. So one, two, three, four. Five. And if this is a direct hit, it's destroyed. Minor explosion. So immediately roll one dice, and on a hit, it becomes a hit. So let me roll that one. It's a blank. So he gets to live to see another day for now. How lovely. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, the Breen is going to return fire. So he's got four, I've got one. Which is one, two, three hits. He can't spend that. Um, I didn't spend my target lock, but I will now to re-roll that. 
Nothing. I'll spend one on the ship to take just two hits off of my hull. There we go. And back to dials. So. I'm just going to do a nice little one green around there, which is going to remove that auxiliary, give me my two actions, and then he's going to probably end up giving me another one straight after anyway. Actually, no, because once he moves, I'll get one then. Hmm. So ideally, I'm going to be still royally screwed to the point where I only get one action. Okay, no problem. Easy enough to, to deal with. I think. <laughs> uh, so the the bug here, <coughs> excuse me, is going to. Oh, hang on. Probably going to round five. Uh, he's got to shoot me yet as well. So he's got a round two over there. Let me just uh, let me just have a quick roll there. So that's one hit. He doesn't get. Any. Oh no, he can't shoot me. He's on the planet, isn't he? Oh, that's that's right. That's okay then. That's fine. Ignore that. Uh, into turn five, my dial is now set. So let's get these bugs moving. Uh, he's going to go there to the right. That's a bump. So his three bank right is going to have to become a three straight. So put him there, and we'll give him an evade instead. Uh, next up is the elite bug here, which is now going to do the same, but the opposite direction. Putting him there. He has no believe, got range three on me. He has, so they come off, and that gets replaced with a battle station. Uh, the Breen, it's got me at range one, front side. Not entirely sure why that didn't give me an option then, to be honest. Let me just undo that and try that again. So it's supposed to give me an option. There we go. Uh, to the left. So he's, he has literally jumped over me. Unfortunately, has given me a second auxiliary token. I won't, I won't bother putting it on because I'm going to take it off this turn anyway. I'll just keep that one there for now. Um... And that's got to come off of there for a minute. And then the battleship has got me on his side. Side to the right. She's going to put him to there and do that. So there isn't a time limit on this one. It's just going to be keep on going until this battleship here is destroyed. Uh, I'm going to jump to there. I do take that. I'm allowed one action, so I'm going to move the Miranda up in front of me. Um, my one action is going to have to be a target lock onto the Breen ship, because I don't have a forward shot, so it's going to have to be a rear shot, and it's going to be disable the dorsals, five dice, with one guaranteed hit as well. So I'm just going to put one guaranteed hit to the side there a second. And put that dice away. Here we go. And I'm going to roll this five. And then I'm going to roll two for them. I literally only need one hit. He's got two evades. So that's those two evaded. That's one hit, one crit gone through. So we got one hit and one crit gone through. Found my direct hit finally. <laughs> so even if the crit only went through, I still would have been okay anyway. Right, he's out of there. So that's good. That means I can start getting rid of these uh, these auxiliaries now. He hasn't got a shot, he has. I believe that was range three, wasn't it? It is range three. So he will lose two. 
I will gain one. And there we go. So there's two of aids for me, nothing for him. He spends that for one, and that's him done. So I'm going to do another one green now because I need to try and get rid of that. Flip that over as well and put it on top of the card so we don't get confused. So turn six brings in another Breen. I'm just going to come in over here. His card has already been picked as well. So I'm just going to place that there for him. Where's his shields? Oh, his shields are up there. Okay, I'll put them. Just put that there like that. So there we go. So there's his shields. There we go. Right, during the modify attack dice step, the attacker cannot convert battle station results. So that's not good. <coughs> right. There is no more ships to come in after this turn, so that's lovely. Uh, bug A. He's got me on his side arc to the right. That will be a fly through the asteroid. That's one hit. So that's one damage more to him. Um, ET1 over here. He's going to do that to the right. Uh, I believe that he will have an angle there, so I'll give him that. That's fine. Next up is the Breen over here. He's got me on his forward arc, so he's just going to come jumping into the field. And then the battleship, which is now down there, is going to go and do a... He just, he's just, like, coming around the planet, like... <laughs> and then finally over to me. I'm going to jump to there. So I can't actually spend battle stations, which is not good. That one's gone. What I can do for my two actions is re-enable that and take a target lock on the Breen. Move those off the side for a minute. Um, I believe that's range two just. Yep, so he's in range two. So I will get five dice with a guaranteed one hit against his two dice. That's one for him. Oh, cool. That's one critical hit to him, so that's one shield gone. Not quite what I had in mind. Um, okay, so he's got a shot and he's got a shot. So we've got two lots of three. For them, because they are both at range. Well, he's at range three, isn't he? Yeah, so he's at range two. So what I'll do is I'll do the bug first. It doesn't really matter which order, so. Um, convert his battle station. So that becomes two. I've got one there. I'll convert my battle station and use the one on the ship. For Oh, I haven't got one on the ship. Oh, no, I haven't got a battle stations either. Oh dear, that's two hits to my shields. And then take that down one and just go again. And that's just one more hit. He has got a target lock, so he will reroll the two. So that is just one more shield gone from me. Okie okay, dokie. So I should still be disabled down there now. Quantums should now be re-disabled, re which is fine. Okay, that's going to be risky, but it might work. Um, 
We've got just a random evade floating in the middle of the field there, so I'm going to do another one green. As we go into turn seven. And then what I'm going to do is the bug is going to move first. He's managed to get in behind me, which isn't good. Uh, he takes a battle station. Uh, bug B has got me on his there to the right. He also gets a battle station. The Breen, range two and closing, this becomes a blue. He's just going to turn himself out slightly. Which is not good. Because I think my one straight is going to be enough to nudge him. Um, battleship. Side arc. Always have problems with the battleship card, I don't know why. Battleship to the right. Apparently he executed a four turn right, but that's not even on his maneuver dial. There we go. Uh, Would have just evaded, so he's fine. Unfortunately, the battleship has managed to get in behind me. But I'm doing a one straight. That's not a one straight. Uh, undo. That, oh, there we are. That's a one straight. I'm going to go to there. Do that. So, luckily, I'm in his arc and his arc, but not theirs. So, that's fine. Uh, two actions are going to be evade and battle station with commander. And then what I'll do is I'll take a target lock with my other. I'm going to place that target lock. I'm just trying to think for a second now what I'm going to do here because this might actually be a better idea if I try something different. Um, right. I'm going to put the target lock on the battleship, but I'm not going to take Commander as my action. Nope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re enable my quants again. As you're about to see, this is going to be really interesting. So I've got five dice into the battleship. Uh, he gets one for range. There's no quality into it. So that's one. It's only two hits. He's got nothing on his. So that is two shields gone. So I flip those. But what I'm going to do is I'm finally going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of my full spread. Which is going to give me a second shot of five dice at another ship. Within range or angle. Um, right now the bug is possessing a lot of nastiness towards me. So it's going to quantum him with five dice. Uh, that's two and one there for three. But he will get his roll. Nothing, so that's three on the other bug, which is just what I wanted to do, because it has given me just enough to take him out of the game, which means he's not going to get a shot on me this turn. Lovely stuff. I uh, just want to check his forward arc a minute. No, he hasn't got nothing. I know he hasn't, but he will, I believe. Yeah, he's got me at range three. Um, the shuttle is only there to help me, so rules apply from previous missions, page 17. So let me just see how the shuttle looks. It doesn't matter if the shuttle gets destroyed, see? Okay, so he's got two defense and five hull. So I'm going to let the ship there 
attack him instead. Because he's at range 3. So, the Shemadar battleship will get 5 dice. Um, you can convert that and that. So, he's got 4 hits. Now it's range 3, so he'll get 3. <coughs> That's two, so it takes two off, and my Miranda has now taken two damage. So basically, the Miranda is down to three hull. Which is fine, baby. Excuse me. Oh. So I know that he's going to be out of my way now this turn, so I'm going to do that. Uh, hang on. There we go. I can do that this turn. Uh, the target lock is gone. So, here we go. He's on the side arc, range 2 and fleeing to the right. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Two seconds while well, the laptop catches up, so that's fine. He's gone up there. He can't do nothing with a battle station, so he takes an evade instead this turn. What I am going to do, though, quickly... While I can, as I'm just going to move that up there, up the way. And then I'm going to move those up there and out the way. And then I'm going to bring this one down a little bit so that it's a bit more organized here. There we go. Right. Uh, he's moved, so it's the Breen now. The Breen ship is going to side arc, range 1, to the right. He's going to do that. That is a bump on the Miranda. So his 2 bank right has to come back and become a 2 straight instead. Um, the battleship. What angle has he got me? Front side. To the right. Oof. So he's creeped up on me now as well. And then over to me. I'm just going to jump to there. I'm going to put the Miranda the other side of my ship. And then I'm going to Commander. Like so. And I will target lock as well. Uh, before I decide who I'm going to target, let me just check the range. Okay, that's good. That's good. So I'm going to target lock the battleship. Unfortunately, he is the one who's creeping up behind me, so he's the one I need to try and get rid of, ideally. So it's going to be dorsal phases now for this shot. So let me get rid of those. Uh, it is range 2, so he won't get any dice. So it's just 3 dice for me. Big roll. Uh, keep that one. I will re-roll that one. That's that one. I've got the wing leader as well. Which I've, I've basically been neglecting for the last couple of turns. So I will convert that one and that one with the battle station, get it back with battle hardened for three hits and a crit. So it's one, two, three hits and a crit. And his critical hit is a stunned helmsman. So the next time you attack, do not roll any dice. That's just bought me a turn, I suppose. Brilliant. So, as we go into turn 8. And then, turn 8. So, let me sort my dial out. Unfortunately, I don't want to be going... I need to be coming around the outside of that asteroid if I can. So, maybe a 2. 2 left. Come round here. Should do it. 
Did I re-roll that one? I think I did. Let me take that off for now. Uh, during the end phase of the last turn, I'll get one shield back with my operations officer. And then we'll go into this turn now. So the bug has got me there to the right. Oh, sounds like we've got some ice fishing about to start on the uh, Star Trek Online. That is a hit, so he will suffer one hit to his hull. It's good, that helps me a little bit as well. Uh, the Breen. Let's just rear side. It's going to be two and fleeing to the left. So he's done a big jump. Swung about to come at full speed towards the waiting Martians. Hey, I had to get a War of the Worlds quote in there somehow. Uh, he takes an auxiliary, so he won't get an action, which is fine. And then the battleship then has got me in his forward arc. Range two and fleeing, so he's going to go to there, take one of those. And then over to me, and we're going to go to there. Try and get the laptop to catch up. I go to there. Let me just check my rear arc. He is not in range two, which is not where I wanted to end up. Ideally, and put the Miranda alongside me there. Um, on a plus note, I will lock him up. The target lock. And um, obviously, I'll take Commander as well because he will probably still get a shot off. Yeah, he's got a range three shot there. Oh, my TV's just turned off. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so he's got a range three shot, so that gives me an extra dice, which is nice against his five dice attack. Do, 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 do. Okay, so he's got two hits. Converts his battle station for three. Uh, I'll convert that one. I'll respend. Oh, hang on. Convert that one. I'll re-roll that one. That's nice. And then I'll use that one for three as well. So that's a perfect evasion. And then we need to try and start thinking about now coming around the houses because I need to start trying to get him in my front arc rather than my side arc or rear arc. Uh, and then we'll just do that. I'm not entirely sure why I've just moved, but I'll leave my ship where it is and just say that it's still there. And then they can just accumulate themselves off of there. So uh, the bug first. Would have had him on the front arc, a range three. He's going to go there. He would have took a battle station because he would have been within arc. Uh, Breen would have been front side to the right, range three. His action would be to remove that. Battleship would have had him there to the right. So he would then take a one of those as well. I've reused that so that can go, but then I would have moved and then I would have put that back on him and then used those. Um, let me just check my range two. I don't have him still at range two. This is what's crippling at the minute. So I need that range two on him. So I think I'm gonna have to drop my speed down slightly, otherwise I'm gonna end up in one big mess here um okay so the only shot that's going to be coming off i believe oh no he's got one too oh he has as well oh christ crikey so it's going to be three dice attack uh three dice yeah two dice defenses for me and a five dice attack to start with for him. So nice big roll. 
Uh, he has got a battle station to convert one, so that's going to be two hits and a crit. I'll convert that one and spend a while on the ship. So that is three of aids. Uh, next up then, if I take that one off and that one off, it's going to be Bug, who's going to hit me for three against my two. That is three off of me. Which is not good because that's going to do that and then cause a, a damage to my ship as well. Damaged sensory array. So I cannot perform the actions. You cannot perform the actions listed on your action bar. My action has to be to roll an attack dice and then on a hit flip that card face down. Oof. So that's not good. I do have my target lock still which is nice though. And I do get one action a turn anyway, thanks to the Miranda. And then finally, we got one more attack from the Breen. Uh, he's got one there. I'll convert the battle station with that one to stop that attack as well. Okay, right. I am in a little bit of trouble here. I'm going to do another three swing. Uh, bug. Front arc. It's going to be all front arcs, I imagine. He's going to go to there. If I have me in range, it takes a battle station. He's got the same. He might not actually have a front arc on me there. He hasn't, it's just shy. So that's fine. Uh, battleship, front arc. To there. Oh, he's jumped right into the danger zone. And taking the battle station. So he got. Uh, I don't actually know what he gets. Ah, evade. So he's got an evade. Give him an evade. And it's over to me. I'm going to go to there. Obviously, I do still have my target lock, wherever it's disappeared to on the field. So there. I do still have that on him. So I'm only allowed one action, which is lucky because, like I said, I've still got my target lock. So my one action is going to be Commander. But what I'm also going to do is, for my second action, I'm going to roll one attack dice on a hit, which it is. That card flips face down. So I can have my full roll of actions back. Great. So, can he shoot? He cannot shoot me. He can't either. He can't either, which is nice because it means it's my turn to take a shot. I got him at range two. So it's going to be three dice into the battleship. I need some purity here. That couldn't have gone better. So I'll convert one on the side, which is the uh, the wing leader one, with these two as well for three hits and a crit onto the battleship. Um, the battleship. I just completely forgot about his card. I won't need to re-roll anyway, but that is one, two, three, and one there to finish him off, which is a direct hit, adding one more hit to add the injury to insult, killing the battleship. He has left the field, ladies and gentlemen. He is gone. That... Ladies and gentlemen, is over. It is finished. The, the Dominion have been defeated. I've done it on the skin of my teeth. I've got four hull left. But I'm not going to finish it there. Because even though it's only... Well, that should have been turn nine, technically. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to continue on. 
Phew, excuse me, for another turn or two, and I'm just going to get these two gone as well while I'm here. So let's do it. I'm going to set my dial as a another three white turn. And set. Uh, oh, I got one shield back at the end of the last turn as well, thanks to Operations Officer and my unspent evade token. So the Breen Bug is going to come down to the right. He was going to come down to the right, now he's gone over there. The Breen Ship has got me on his side. To the right, he's going to go down there. Again, no angle, so he'll take an evade. There's going to be me. I'm just going to jump up to there. Swing that around. I do have my full complement of uh, bits back, so let's do that. Let me just check my ranges. Oh, I've got some lovely ranges, but let me just check my angles. So that's not through the asteroid. That is through the asteroid. Did I have? I do have him. So I'm going to put three dice. Three dice attack into the Breen. See if I can try and dent him a little bit more. Obviously, I've got my one there as well. So let me roll the three dice. Before my laptop catches up a bit. There we go. So three dice rolled. Oh, lovely three hits. I'll convert that one with the battle station and then get it back on there. And then he's going to roll two. He's got two evades. So that is two more damage. So he has lost his shields. That's good. Uh, they can't shoot me, so that's fine. I'm just going to go dun, dun, dun. Uh, what angles he now got me? Ah, so rear. To the left, left, right, to the right. Oh, he's off the board. So he has to come back on where he went off, which is just there somewhere. That's fine. And he won't gain an action for doing so. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Green there to the right. Uh, again, it's just going to take an evade. I've done the next thing a little bit silly, but I don't mind. I forgot to put my shield back on for the last turn as well. Um... So I'm just going to go doot like that. Unfortunately, that did put me through the asteroid. And I don't believe in rule for one and rule for another. So I will lose one action. My action will be to take that. And I do have a range two shot on the bug. That's currently on the side of the field. So, five dice to his two. I will convert one on the side. And that one and that one. For four hits and a crit, he's got nothing. That's his two shields gone. Three, four hits and a crit. Minor explosion, so let's just roll one dice a minute, just to see. It is, he took an extra hit, and that's going to hurt him a lot more than it's going to hurt me. So he's out of there as well. Right. And then there was one. He can't shoot me, so that's good. I'm just going to go doot to the right. Oh, where's he going? I think he's trying to get out of there. Oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do last round, and I'm going to do it now just to compensate. <clears throat> one hit. So I'd have one shield back at the end of last turn, but I meant to take one shield off because I meant to roll dice for going through the asteroid, so that's fine. Uh, 
And could this be the final countdown for the the Breen ship? It's going to be five dice against his two. I've got my wing leader on the side. And I'm going to spend the target lock, which is my second action, to re-roll that one. I will convert the battle stations. One, two, three, four, five hits and a crit onto him. He evades one. because He's got one on ship. So it's four hits and a crit, which is enough to kill him. He's only got four hull. I've just put five hits on him. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is your victorious, awesome ship. That was a complete playthrough of the uh, Star Trek Alliance box set. I've done it from Mission 1 all the way up. Uh, I've recorded on the way. I think I've got them all onto YouTube as well, if I remember rightly. But yeah, I have definitely, I've definitely finished it. As you can see, victorious once again with the Federation. Um, so that now actually makes me... Ooh, what's that? Three time, a three time soloist for the Alliance campaign. But yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for partaking in this journey with me as we've gone from a, a minor captain flying an Excelsior class up to an Equinox, and we went from the Equinox up to the Intrepid. Sorry, not the Equinox, the Nova class, sorry. Up to the Intrepid. We had a... Sorry, no, we didn't. Didn't we? Have, yeah, we had a brief stint with the Defiant as well, if I remember rightly. And then we went Intrepid. And finally, we have finished the mission with the Sovereign. But that has been one long trip. And I'm glad that I've been here to take that trip with you guys. Um, as always, all my games are always dedicated to uh, like mental health and stuff. You know, it's never a good thing, so I always dedicate them. Even though I don't say it, they are all dedicated to it. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for enjoying this trip with me. Um, I will probably start again shortly with a different faction. I got three to play from in the actual campaign, so I can go Romulan or Klingon next if I choose. But I might even mix it up. I might even make my own version and do it with like a Herosian ship or something. Or maybe use independent ships. But for now, I'm going to leave it there, guys. You've been absolutely fantastic throughout this trip. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, follow, whatever it is you, you guys do these days on these things. And I'll uh, see you all in the next one. Live long and prosper, guys. You've been great. <laughs>